actual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Which platform, please? Just through there. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. 
He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Sometimes there are only bad choices, but even indecision has consequences. Come on, it's a simple answer. Yes or no? I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Nothing. Look, you're not taking the car, right? Do I look stupid? Yes. Yes, clearly I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked me in the first place. Good night. Bus stops that way. Fine. Have a good evening, freak. A myriad of possible decisions, and I pick the one that ends in me being a freak. Well done. Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. For South Kent, please, mate. Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. 
I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Who's the baggage? It's a fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. But that still leaves lots of painful options. Couple of weird dreams, this will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. Just because you've invited me to join you doesn't mean I'm up for it. You don't have a choice, man. Just like I do. This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Get this off. You're joking. We'll find you something. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. 
We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for £950,000, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment gives you £950,000 for its time. Just Thank try to keep your powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. I'm sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining yes. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at £2 million. Pounds. £2 million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bid. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I get 20% on the sale you, price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a hard thank time. you, madam. You have eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay, so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven five. Zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid. Your bid. Eleven, madam. Well, eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. 12.
Twelve-five I'm looking for. Twelve-five. It's your bit at twelve, madam. Looking for twelve-five. Twelve-five. Twelve-five I have to my right. Thank you, sir. Twelve-five. So do I hear thirteen? Against you now, madam. Twelve-five. Are we all out? At twelve-five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve-five once. Twelve-five twice. So, to the gentleman on my right, for twelve and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Hello. Don't make this any worse. <laughs> Anetta, send the control. Hey, listen, this is. Not as for ya. It's not complicated. Oh shit. Uh, video feed's cut. Oh, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code for the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it, we're out of here. Let's prick with you. Frank? You alright, mate? I don't know when to stop, do you? If you'd been smart, this could have gone off clean as a whistle, but instead... Come on, Frank, don't mug me off. No, you can make a murderer for me, yeah. <sighs> yeah, no worries. Sweet, see you later. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you enter 309220. Three zero. Enter. Enter. Good to hear.
Well? I work as a fucking security guard, all right? I protect stuff, I don't steal it. So as far as I was concerned, fuck you. Oh, fuck me? Yeah, fuck you! Because that's what you've done to me well and proper. You did this to yourself. Had it been up to me, you'd be sleeping in the back of a van. Yeah, like I said, fuck you. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place to turn it into money. You're too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some sort of high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? If I bring the ball back, yeah. Then you're a fool. You just saved your life. You can't go to the police. Watch me. Not yet. 
You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. Will you be the judge of that, sir? Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? Yeah, well, they had guns. Getting away hasn't exactly been it. So it seems. Exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. You know what I think? I think you're up to your balls in this, but you got scared, and now you're trying to lie your way out. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? There was a girl. <laughs> Do you surprise me? Where's she at? She wouldn't come with me. Sounds like the brains of the operation. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, why don't you investigate this Mr. Wu? He's the guy that they stole the bowl for. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch, that's all I know. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. Any thoughts? Do you know who the Choi family are? Because Tony Wu does. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I think you didn't realize that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself, looking for a way out. I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... A between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson. I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. <laughs> Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice?
Where is it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where is the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us, the rightful owners, about what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or Disrespect will be punished. Now for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Where are you? Where are you? You don't have to worry about me. Tell me! Where are you? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowl, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fucking hell! No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The bowl is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bowl? The original bowl. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll get you the bowl. So your memory turns? I wish. Where is it? 
I can't tell you. I have to go and get it for you. Not good enough. It's the only way you're going to get it. I call the jade up there. You would bring us the bowl, and she would be punished. Six hours to bring us the bolt. After that, Dr. Lowe will no longer be able to save her life. You're a bunch of fucking psychos. From whom you chose to steal. You have six hours to put matters right. Matt. It's Pa. He's the one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who bought the copy for him. Oh, fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. <laughs> Done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right, how do I find him? Dan from work? I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. There's a serious concussion. It's horrible. Um, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to 
St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry, you got involved. Well, what was I doing there anyway? <laughs> what brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian de Clark's in, please? Is he here? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room though. Look, I know you wanted to help me out tonight, but I can't give you any information about that patient. So he's here. I shouldn't have even told you that. Just five minutes, please. Oh, shit. The seventh floor, room 703, and if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thank you. They won't let me use the internet. Oh my god. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. committed at Hainsworth tonight. You shouldn't be here, nurse. No! <laughs> now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you in heart are going to get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? We need this. Good. Tell me about your deal with Samuel Parr. I know you replaced the Paulson Raspberry with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. <laughs> They've already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? Backstage? You know nothing. You need not scare me. There's nothing you can do. I mean, it's just a matter of time until the choice will find you. I know what you did, Sebastian. Paul's cabinet. The one he bought right before the ball was auctioned. The one with the secret compartment. That's right. The forgery was hidden inside before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards, you replaced it with the original. You're the only one who could have done it, Sebastian. The only one. Dad, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where's the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, 
have to promise to tell no one about me. You're kidding, right? If you don't promise, I tell you nothing. I don't have time for this, mate. Just you and me now. Now, where's the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery, and I hid it. The cabinet. Past cabinet I built an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the bowl still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage. So it's still inside Hainsworth. Yes. Oh, painkillers, thank Christ. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can get to it, yes. Let's have it here, right? Yes. And you never heard about the hidden compartment? Get one soon. Yeah, yeah. Come now. No, I'm fine. I'm just, um... I'm just killing time to my next appointment in five minutes. With him? Mr. Quinn? Okay, elevators are just there. It's on the second floor. Great, thanks. Colleague, let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here.
me, that was close. What a terrible idea. I should have gone straight to Paz in the first place. Primrose Hill. does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says oh, that he thank has thank you. Well, uh, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. And I know about your deal with Sebastian the Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? We're going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. I'm not leaving here without the fucking bowl. I don't know where it is. I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. I'm not fucking joking here. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. Where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, the hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bomb! Oh. Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. Tell it to me, come on. Seven, nine, nineteen, zero, one. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. 
so you kill me for it. <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? Okay. Okay. Then we'll wait here. Together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But if I don't get the rest of the money, the choice will find out. Whatever it takes. I'll call Hainsworth and tell him that the chest is being picked up. Well, good morning, it's um, Samuel Parr. Uh, I'm going to pick up the thing myself. No, 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 that's fine. Thank you. Car keys. You drive. Well, can I at least change my clothes? for it. Nicole, 
not been disappointed by her cooperation. Where's my Ling? She's here. Are we free to go? One question. Mailing claims she was ordered to steal a copy of the ball by Samuel Paul, who in turn intended to retain in secret the original ball for himself. To your knowledge, is this true? No, that's a lie. Everyone involved with the plan was killed in the accident. She never mentioned anything about Samuel Paul being involved. And what was your involvement? I was forced to at gunpoint. That's why I've gone out of my way to make sure you've got the ball back in one piece. Give me a leaf now. Sorry, mate. 